Okay. I did the last couple of these quote things, so do you have any or have you still not opened the book? Um, as a matter of fact, I actually have read the book. I read it last night. Wow, you read it in one night? Yeah, I was just missing my dad and I saw it. And I saw it. Your parents are divorced? Well, kinda, I guess. It's okay, mine are too. How long have they been divorced? Four years, since I was 11. My mom and dad always seemed happy, but one day, my dad came home and said that he was going to marry someone else. He'd been seeing her for about three years. Oh, I'm sorry. But you still visit him, right? No, not really. I mean, I used to when, in like the beginning months, but I kind of stopped. Why? Well, his new wife didn't really like me. I guess she didn't like the fact he used to be with another woman. He said that he could either have her or me. He chose her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. It's not your fault, and it was a long time ago anyways. I've gotten over it. So how did yours happen? Well... Um... I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. I've never told anybody that before. Not even my mom. She just thinks I got tired of seeing him or decided he was a bad person or something. So I think you owe me an explanation. Oh. Well. I guess I do. It wasn't really a divorce. My dad, he... He was going on a trip to go make his dreams come true. He he died in a car accident on the way there. He died when I was ten. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yep. I don't really like to talk about it much. I'm not meaning to pry. And if you don't want to answer this, I don't blame you, but what was his dream? Well, here, let's find the author's dedication. You mean the thing at the end of the book where the author wastes 10 pages, thinking everyone who has even remotely affected his life? That's it. Can you read the last line? Um, okay. And most importantly, I would like to thank my beautiful, loving wife, Jennifer, and my gorgeous little girl, Gwen. Without you, this book would never have been a reality. You are the best things that have ever happened to me. You made my dreams come true. My dreams of this book most importantly, you. Your dad is M. Logan, isn't he? Was. No. Is. Look, I have another quote. And though our physical bodies may not live on forever, our love does. As long as someone, somewhere loves, our love, and ourselves, will live on forever. Oh my gosh, I'm just so confused. I mean, before I was confused, but now I'm even more confused. What the heck happened? Well, a couple weeks ago, me and Miles met up for the project. And we talked a little. And you didn't tell me? Well, it was a little deep. His parents are also separated. No way! Never would have guessed since he doesn't mope around 24-7 like someone else I know. Ha ha. I don't know. I'm just so confused. Before we were trying to 
tell if he liked me, and now... I don't know. I think I might like him back. Oh my gosh, really? I can't believe you're just now telling me this. I just don't know what to do. Now that the project's over, he's not gonna come over anymore. Did he kiss you? What? During your deep conversation, did he kiss you? Um, no. Are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Girl, you have problems. La da 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 da. But you clearly have bigger. Uh, mom? He loves me, he loves me, he loves me. We're gonna get married, move in together. Mom, hello, I haven't even met him yet. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna meet him tonight for dinner. Um, I don't really wanna go on a date with my mom and her boyfriends. It won't be a date, it just will be a little get together. Um, but wouldn't that be awkward? Not if you don't make it. Gwen, this is really important to me. More important than dad. I'm just, um, gonna go if that's alright with you guys. Gwen. Of course I still love your father. I love him every day. But what good will sitting around and moping do? He would want me to get remarried. Are you even getting married to this guy? Has he actually proposed? Well... No. Not yet. Please, just go to dinner and be nice and polite to him. One time, this kid came in before he even said a word. I think we should probably change the topic away from kids vomiting while we're at the dinner table. So, Victor, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I guess I'm kind of into bowling. Bowling? Hmm. Yet another thing we have in common. Really? Because I remember in third grade when I wanted a bowling party, you said absolutely not because you hated bowling. And, um, Gwen, honey, may I talk to you for a moment? Of course, mother who I love. Please stop this. Stop what? Stop you from swooning over some guy who you have nothing in common with? We do not have nothing in common. Just because we do not share his passion for bowling does not mean that we have nothing in common. Our careers are very similar. Can you stop saying that? A teacher and a doctor are nothing alike. In many ways they are. And that is not the point. I really like this guy, Gwen. Could you please at least give him a chance? <sighs> Fine. We're back. Great. So, Quinn. Gwen. What kind of things are you interested in? I don't know. Come on, anything. Do you like to read? Yeah, I guess. What kind of books do you like? I don't know. I guess mysteries? Maybe romances? Well, who doesn't like a good romance? Um... Suddenly me. What's your favorite book, Gwen? Well... I don't want to talk about it. Go on, Gwen. Can't we just... I said I don't want to talk about it. Victor. I'm sorry, Gwen. It's just that I don't understand. Yeah, no one does. Well then, um, I think I'm just gonna go use the ladies' room real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, look, Gwen, I'm really sorry I wasn't meaning to pry or anything. Hey, I got something for you. What? What's this? Wow. It, it's beautiful. You like it? I love it. Thank you so much, Victor. 